We're back, Patrick, and just in time. Now all we have to do is give Neptune back his crown. Come on! Oh, I think I'm gonna stay here. That's Perch Perkins over there, you know? You might want to interview me. Ah, uh, okay. I'll be back as soon as I give Neptune his crown. Right. Squidward, not you too. All hail Plankton. King Neptune, we got your crown back. Can you please let Mr. Krabs go now? All hail Plankton. This isn't working out like I'd hoped. Plankton, what's going on here? What have you done? <laughs> what's it look like? I've taken control of the citizens of Bikini Bottom. I've transformed them into my own personal Buckethead army. <laughs> they are now... Say, what's that smell? Um, I think I absorbed some... <laughs> ...sweat. Ew. Anyway, bottom line, you lose. And you know why? Because you cheated? No, not because I cheated. Because I'm an evil genius. And you're just a kid. <laughs> a stupid kid! <laughs> I may be a kid, but I'm not gonna let you get away with this! Listen to yourself, you even talk like a kid! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! What do you think this is, a game of kickball on the playground? You never had a chance to defeat me! Well, I'm not giving up yet! Good! I enjoy watching you flounder! Give it your best shot, kid! I don't need to go in there right now. Hi, music maker. Hey there, little dude. Hi. Pretty awful what Plankton's done around here, isn't it? Huh? What? Sorry, man. I've been so lost in a groove that I haven't noticed anything. What's going on? He's got the whole town wearing his bucket helmet things, and they have like an antenna thingy on the top that lets him control their thoughts. Whoa, wait a minute. Are you telling me he has sub-crypto alpha wave enhancers built into a cranial matrix? I don't know. Am I? Dude, this is serious, man. We have to find a way to channel the power of rock to disrupt his mind control signal. How can we do that? Well, we need an amplifier. Don't you have one right there? Yeah, but this little thing isn't going to cut it without some modification. I need you to bring in a larger speaker. Mr. Krabs has one in the storeroom. He was going to use it to play music throughout the Krusty Krab with subliminal messages in it, urging people to buy more stuff. Don't think the irony is lost on me. And there's one other thing we're going to need. A reverse polarity sub ether frequency emitter. You're joking. No, we needed to tune in to the exact frequency that Plankton uses to control these buckets. It looks like a little light bulb. Where am I gonna find one of those? Well, Plankton has to have one, or he couldn't generate the frequency to begin with. So I guess that means... I have to go into the belly of the beast, the chum bucket. It won't be easy. Nothing worth doing ever is. Never fear, I will bravely face the dangers of the chum bucket for the greater good. Wow, you sounded like Clint East Whale just then. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Do you know I lift up my tentacle and I say tweet tweet? I can't say I've ever heard that one, man. I'll let you get back to your picking. Okay, pal, catch you on the flip flop. Nicely. Okay, here I am. Gotta keep 
my cool. I just need to get to the kitchen without being spotted. What is this Krabby Patty doing floating in midair? That's a bit odd. Uh-oh, I'm not alone. Hey, that's one good-looking guy. Somehow, he doesn't look friendly. I need to get to the kitchen doors. And I'd better pick up these Krabby Patties so Plankton can't use them to figure out the secret recipe. And I'd better avoid that robot me while I'm at it. He seems upset about something. Cool guitar. I don't think Guitar Dude will have much use for it anymore. It's an amplifier. I guess it isn't powerful enough to be of much use as it is, though. I got it! I got All hail Plankton. Oh no, they got you! All hail Plankton. I guess I'm gonna have to try and rig this thing on my own. All hail Pl Yeah, yeah, I get it. I attach the speaker to the amplifier, but it still needs the sub ether thingamajig to tune into Plankton's bucket frequency. I am ready to rock! Patrick, Plankton has taken over Bikini Bottom! He's gotten everyone to wear these buckets on their heads, and he's controlling their minds! What are we gonna do? SpongeBob, did you know that's Perch Perkins over there? The Perch Perkins? Pretty cool, huh? Patrick, didn't you hear anything I just said? The Perch Perkins. Amazing. Why would I want to go there? I have other things to do right now. I don't think Perch is in the right frame of mind for an interview. This thing could tear the rust off a sunken ship. Now I just have to plug the guitar in and play my heart out. Say, Plankton, I've been thinking about what you said. Yes, I'm sort of busy here. It's just that you're right. I am just a kid. Of course I'm right. You know, I've been through a lot in the last six days, five minutes, 27 and a half seconds. And if I've learned anything during that time, it is that you are who you are. That's right. And no amount of mermaid magic or managerial promotion or 
some other third thing can make me any more than what I really am inside, a kid. That's great. But that's okay, because I did what everyone said a kid couldn't do. I made it to Shell City, and I beat the Cyclops, and I rode the... And I brought the crown back. All right, we get the point. So yeah, I am a kid. And I'm also a goofball, and a wingnut, and a knucklehead mixed Bazatron. What's going on here? But most of all, I'm, I'm, I'm. Settle down. S settle. I'm a goofy goober. A what? Let's rock. I've got to get the notes of this song right, or it won't destroy Plankton's mind control helmets. And so, Spongebob uses the power of rock and roll to overcome evil. It is a fail as old as time. King Neptune, freed from his bucket, receives the crown with gratitude and releases Mr. Krabs from his prison of ice. Plankton is removed from circulation and placed in a suitable institution. Patrick is finally interviewed by Felch Perkins. Mindy earns the respect of her father, who will never again dismiss her counsel of wisdom and compassion. Although he is fairly insistent that someone rot in the dungeon for a thousand eternities. And SpongeBob? The kid? The ring nut? The knucklehead McSpazitron? Well, that's manager McSpazitron to you. End.